Alright guys, uh, gonna try to do another day of fishing. Um, gonna do some simple fishing today, just basically not have much stuff with me and uh, so that way I can easily pack up and move to different spots and different locations. Uh, this is gonna be mostly bank fishing, but uh, let's see what we get. I just got out here, just now trying it out, see if there's anything. <laughs> yeah, normally flounder will come in, they, they'll go in through that little hole over there, where um, those rocks are, and then they'll just kind of swim through here. Yeah, yeah they'll hit this, or um, they'll hit, um, it depends on how aggressive they are, they'll hit this, or they'll hit spoon, or... Mm, if you need something like um, just something that drops, it will. Like um, uh, if you there's like little random rocks. There's not a lot of rocks, but there's like little random rocks, and um, you can catch rocks. It's all shallow right here. Like like even if you walk, it probably only go out to your waist. Um, it doesn't start getting deep until you start going that way. Yeah, it's all it's all flat. There's like. There's like little random rocks all over the place. Um, so yeah, I live in Houston. Yeah, I caught someone's rig. <laughs> Man, this dude uses some huge hook. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you don't need those giant hooks. Guys, um, I want to see if there's still some mangroves over here. Didn't have much luck trying to catch flounder at two of my um, spots that I kind of like. They're not really high producing spots, but I mean, there's usually something there, but um, no luck. So let's see if we can get some mangroves to these today.
wasn't a very good day of fishing really um, mainly a full day of just catching trash and trash fish and uh, a couple of sand trout and I guess they're like piggy perch or pinfish I'm not really sure what they are um, I guess uh, I stopped recording after it got dark because you really can't see anything on the cameras anyway but um, later that night uh, something interesting actually ended up happening uh, something actually spooled one of my rails uh, completely spooled it maybe like 170 plus yards of braid uh, if I had to guess it could have been a big ugly or maybe a jack of bell um, either way I wouldn't have figured it out because it took it less than a minute to spool it. I mean, it was just basically me holding onto the reel and the line disappearing. Given where I was, I really didn't expect that. Um, I wasn't actually prepared for that. I wasn't at all set up for that kind of fishing. Um, whatever it was, it was huge because it didn't take very long for it to spool that line. Um, if I had to guess, it had to be a jack of bell because a lot of people say there's jack there and um, and as quickly as the lines pulled out there's I doubt it's an ugly or a shark uh, it was just way too fast um, I guess the next trip I'm gonna try to see what it was maybe try to catch that jack maybe I'll get lucky and get back my uh, 170 yards of line but uh, <laughs> I guess uh, any day of fishing is better than a day at home doing nothing Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to get out some and get your lines wet and catch some fish.